somebody sitting on my computer eating her food. <laughs> What do you think, Ted? Got the Christmas tree up. Oh, how pretty. <laughs> now this one, this was yesterday's. I'm having it today because I wasn't here yesterday. The Viennese truffle. So Christmas Eve in Austria really starts on Christmas Eve when people light the big light the lights on the big tree for the first time and cut, so yeah so uh, Christmas in Austria really starts around 4 p.m. on Christmas Eve. Oh, in this country, people t t two days later they've taken their trees down. They put them up in like November. And uh, and then take them down like Boxing Day or New Year's Day. Bit for the first time. Yeah. Oh, look at them in their box. <laughs> and Magenta can have this dress as well, I think. It doesn't really fit anyone else, so it looks nice on her, doesn't it? Yeah. These poly polishes, they're totally different. Oh, which one should I get? Oh, totally different. She looks like Hatsune, uh, she looks like Miku. Hatsune Miku, or Miku Hatsune, with hair. And uh, with the colour of it. Oh, I don't know which one to get. Oh my goodness. They, oh no. It was exclusive to Tesco. I can't get both. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. What a dilemma. Which one should I get? Oh, look, look at her hair. It's totally different. Oh no! Oh no! She's meant to be like that, so that's... Oh, I like this one. Oh, the Okay, we're recording exciting things I got from Tesco yesterday. Nice bag as well. Nice bag from Tesco. I like these bags. Shame I don't do the frozen bags anymore. I've got the frozen, you know, Elsa and Anna. Anyhow, um, these are only £2. Glade Blackberry. I'm not sure if I've got this. You know I collect these infernal things. They're all 
piled up at my friend's house. I've brought those two here just to, for the video. I've got another one. Where is it? There's another one in here somewhere. Oh, I shall endeavour to find. Here it is. That one, this one was blackberry. That one is Sweetberry Joy, which I'm pretty certain I've got. But, but it was only £2. And I do use them when I have bath times at a friend's house. No point doing it here, as I mentioned before. Anyhow, I've got this. It's a bathing flamingo from Tesco. These are... I'll take him out to show you. Very nice ears as well. Whoops. There he is. Quite cute, isn't he? <laughs> Quite pretty. Nice bright pink colour. Nice shortbreads. Tesco. Take that label off. I don't like sticky lip. sticky labels. We like to keep the tin looking nice. That's so pretty. It's got gold and stuff on it. I'll, um, I'll stick that on there and I know what it is. Um, we'll go inside the lid later. Isn't that nice? Pretty. They look cold but they wouldn't be feeling it would they? Not stag. Dear. Oh look this I'm surprised they're allowed to have that. Looks like the little baby sham thing, doesn't it? I nearly bought some baby shams and I thought, no, there was too much Ooh, rustling. No, too much, not too much rustling, too much weight. The bag was rustling. You know, I hate that infernal rustling. Some people do ASMR videos just rustling for an hour. Perhaps I should try that. What do I match? Oh, stop being silly. He's nice little thing. Anyway, what do you think? I am a star. I wouldn't have the patience. That's the trouble. I'm so stressed out. I just wouldn't have the patience to sit there doing it. But I ought to try. For people that like ASMR videos, they might enjoy it. Different sort of audience. That's nice. I got this from my friend. That's rather pretty. Mm -hmm. Tesco. I don't usually go in for these long verses, but they, apart from that, they only had stupid looking cards with people drinking. So he doesn't, he'd be disgusted. He doesn't drink. Anyhow, um, that's nice, the Tatty Teddy. I collect Tatty Teddy cards, 3D ones, so I got this for my Christmas present to myself. That's nice. Isn't that sweet? That's so sweet. Tatty Teddy. Right, now for the exciting news. Exclusive to Tesco. Lucy Smoothie and Shopkins. But more importantly, that, well you've already known because you've seen it, but it's one of my faves. Yeah, poly polish, but the other one they had had the blue hair in front. She reminded me of Miku. It looked like Miku's hair colour because if you look at the anime version of her, her hair's blue in front and it was on the other one. But I thought, well, this one might be quite unique and rare. So I got that and I thought, I can't afford both. So I got that one. Can you see her? Girls' Day Out, the shoppies have hit the stores for a whole lot more fun with their shopkin friends. Lucy Smoothie is looking sweeter than ever and mixing with a new bunch of fabulous foodie shopkins with pretty pearl finishes. It's a food fair with exclusive flair. Flair, flair. Can we see? Can you see how well I'm reading this? Lucy Smoothie, berry smooth and sweet. Sweet and cheeky, Lucy Smoothie sometimes lands herself in a jam. But with the help of her pearly Shopkin friends, this smooth talker always gets out of any sticky situation. Bright and sassy, this fruity cutie loves to delight her friends with a very sweet summertime treat. I seem to remember reading that on the back of her regular box. 
Favourite hobby? Mixing with friends. Shopkins BFF, Ruthie Smoothie and Pamela Parfait. Favourite place to shop? The Smoothie Parlour. So we've got Pamela Parfait and Ruth, Ruthie Smoothie are the, the, the Shopkins. There's the side of the box. And these, are, as I said, are exclusive to Tesco. Like that Barbie, like that pretty Asian Barbie was exclusive to Tesco last week. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, dear. I hope I'm not going to sneeze about 20 times. What ha ah, What happens sometimes? Right. Oh, God, we got my screen now. So, Girls' Day Out, the shop is... Oh, I'm not going to read that again because it says exactly... Oh, I don't know. It is slightly different. The shoppies have hit the stores for a whole lot more fun with their Shopkin friends. Polly Polish has given herself a makeover from fingertips to toes and gone on a fashion spree to find some shiny new Shopkins to hang out with. So come on, let's get glitzy. Polly Polish, she nails it. Polly Polish always has the glitter and shine at her fingertips. Splashing some fashion on her nails is what she does best. But her style only starts at her fingers. She loves to match it up from head to toe. When it comes to creating a sparkling look, she nails it every time. Favourite hobby, filing her nails. Oh. Shopkins BFF, Natalie Nail Polish and Bessie Brush. Favourite place to shop, the Cutie Cools Nail Salon. But yeah, I used to think Polly Polish was like cleaning products and things. Like, and I thought I saw a toilet brush holder, but no, it's just nail polishes. And They should have one that's like furniture polish and stuff like that that would be quite interesting i think from my point of view now i don't know if you've seen any of those properly i'll have a look in a minute when we get a picture back oh there we go come back now but it won't make any difference to you because you're still the thing is still go on recording so you won't know that i'm sat here looking at a white screen well not until i show you the proof see there we've come back momentarily when i've jogged the that top. Oh, there, and now it's going again. You see? Now we come back. Let's hope it remains this time. La 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 la. I forgot the snow. Still, I've put some there now. I've uh, put some there now. I should make sure I have this for this seasonal time of year, shouldn't I? But I'm not feeling it this year. Too much has gone wrong and um. So I'm not really feeling it, I'm afraid. I've even got my blue stars up on my window that I put up every single year. But I can't even get to the window this year because I've got so much stuff piled up in front of me. So first year in, since I, I don't know when, those blue stars haven't gone up. So it's a bit depressing really, isn't it? But then that's what I suffer from. So it's difficult to keep going when you get like that. Yeah. People often say, oh, when you've got something physically wrong, people can see what it is. I mean, yeah, yeah, I know. So, do I match the these, I wonder? So I'm trying to put on, I'm trying to maintain a cheerful front. I don't want to bring anyone down by appearing miserable. But yeah, do I match? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, now it looks like Toys R Us are in trouble. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's all doom and gloom, isn't it? They think they can save them from being closed down. But, um, oh, my goodness. It's a, bit, oh, it's a depressing time, really, isn't it? But, uh, VHS gone. Well, I don't know how long Toys R Us will be saved. Let's hope they can... Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. There's Lorelei in her winter, her, her Christmas outfit. Because I have found some Christmas outfits for some of the dollies. But um, I think I should concentrate the dolls more on my doll channel from now on because I'm, um, you know, don't want to antagonise anyone that doesn't like, not interested in dolls and. Uh, So, Christmas everyone, let's, uh, yeah. Elements of it, yes. We're not there yet, so it's, it's uh, oh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon and it's very dark today. That's nice. Nice and mild though. 
my Waitrose haul with a coconut original, it's quite nice. Ginger oat biscuits, organic. I may have had those before, they look quite nice. Abernethy biscuits, of course, which are always nice. Things very nice. Nettle tea. Waitrose sweet and refreshing pea and mint cup of soup. Got these nice and he likes these. He likes these soups, rich and creamy. On I'm not keen on mushroom soup myself. Now these are rather different. Four all butter chocolate and ginger mince pies. So they look rather, rather nice actually. So yeah, I'm going to have one of those now. I like this packaging. It's so pretty. Here they are, they're rather interesting, don't they? Let's try them. Mm, well, I'm all right. I'm not what I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to have chocolate, but, um, yeah, they're okay. For some reason, I thought they were going to be chocolate coated, but, um, still, I should have read it, I suppose. Individual all butter chocolate pastry pies filled with ginger liqueur and orange mincemeat. Yeah, yeah they're, they're nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, they're nice. The best honey in the world, as far as I'm concerned. This is lovely, lovely, lovely honey. I'm so pleased I can still get it from the independent health food store where I get it from. It's lovely. And there's original ginger thins. I get these from my friend. He likes them, so that's part of his thing. And these from Waitrose. I think these are very nice. They're from sort of someone else. Or someone else. Oh. This Clementine and Spices soap is really very nice from Eve Rocha. Very, very nice. I think I got this, yeah, I got this last year. It's lovely. Oh, I think this is so funny. <coughs> the reindeer. You should take some time off. You deserve it. Nobody works harder than you. You're the best. Did I mention you look thinner? He's saying to Father Christmas and Santa Claus, meet Randolph, the brown-nosed reindeer. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah, that is funny. Somebody's sitting on her dish. She's <laughs> always sitting on dishes. What do you think of it, Ted? Ted doesn't know what to make of it. Ted doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> well, give you a break Cassandra in her winter outfit. Oh, I think she needs maybe different shoes. There, she's got her winter shoes on now to go with her Christmas outfit. So there's Cassandra all sorted out, ready. She does look nice. I nearly gave her a bindi on her forehead, but I thought, no, she doesn't need one of those, I don't think. She's got quite enough bling. I put that dry shampoo in her hair to try and um, fix the problem. Somebody's sitting on her tatty teddy dish tonight. <laughs> oh, funny little cat. You are very comical. What does Ted think about it? Ted doesn't know what to make of it. Why are you sitting on dishes? Why do you sit on your dish? Why are you sitting on that dish? Why are you sitting on that dish? Hey? Why? What a funny little cat. What a funny little puss you are.
Oh, he's sitting on dishes. It's not for sitting on, they're meant to be for eating off. <laughs> oh, like a little bush baby. Yeah, like a little bush baby, a funny little puss. A comical little cat. Oh, very pretty. <laughs> this is what somebody was laying on. It's a tatty teddy dish. And so wonder she's not sitting on it. This is all warm. Uh, little somebody's been sitting on it. Oh, a nice present for my friend in London. And little Paul's sitting on it. And there's a tatty teddy dish. There's a tatty teddy dish. There it is. Time I went to bed, I think. Wrecking <laughs> <laughs> fleas out all over my bed. Yeah, the tatty teddy dish is empty at the moment. Not sitting on it now. We'll be going to bed, he buys, in a minute. Yes, we will. Oh, so pretty. Two friends sorted out for Christmas. Oh, no. <laughs> we get her some shoes now. Get them some shoes. If I had a suitable skirt for this one to wear, this top would look nice on her. It matches her earrings. This one is Claire, by the way. That's Claire. She's a Steffi Love doll. I haven't named this one yet. Right, so. Claire here has got the glass slippers. She's in Cinderella mode. So she's got the glass slippers on. And this one's got these blue ones. I was going to put these ones on her, but they kept falling off, so I think they look... they match her dress. There we go. Well, Claire does look nice in her new shoes, her glass slippers. Cinderella shoes and a nice dress. She's got the build of the old Barbies. This is a Steffi Love doll, as a yeah, she's pretty. I think it's Steffi anyway. Same makers, Simba doll. I've washed her hair, needed it, and she's got the same sort of hair as Kimberly, my my scene doll, Kimberly that I call Kimberly. She's actually a Barbie, of course, but. Yeah, so she's nice in her Cinderella glass shoes. <laughs> I think this one can be called Daphne. That name sort of comes to mind when I look at her, so... I don't think she's in the right outfit for her personality. I think she needs something more demure, but I couldn't find anything. This girl can be called Winter. So the nice dress I got for £10 from M and Co. I think I better put the light on in here. I've got the Christmas lights on, but um, still not light enough for this webcam. Yes, quite pretty. Quite a nice dress. Cassandra in her Christmas outfit. Do we show up better? <laughs> oh, I never know. Here's my little Poundland purchase from last year. That's nice, isn't it? Still lighting up. I haven't put any new batteries in. 